There are several methods of consecration in the ancient text of necromancy magic. Most of these were written in ancient Lana scripts or Pali scripts. These texts were mostly miscommunicated and misunderstood when masters passed down their knowledge to their disciples throughout the generations. It takes a spiritually attained master to completely understand the deep wisdom of these texts and its methods. Due to the misunderstanding of these ancient scripts, 99% of the masters today have missed out on several important procedures during the consecration. Most of the rituals were only halfway completed. Many monks who are well known for the makings of Kumon Tongs today have missed the very important part of the consecration ritual, which makes owning a Kumon Tong dangerous to its owners. During the consecration of spirit type amulets or Kumon Tong, the spirits of the Hell Realm are conjured into the vessel. It is easy for any masters to conjure spirits of the Hell to dwell into the pre made vessels. The ritual is to force the spirits to take on the shape of the vessel and it is during this stage of the ritual that movements of the statues can be seen. And it is common to see the spilling of drinks or kumon tongs drinking at this stage of the consecration. So most of the masters would end their ritual at this stage. But little did they know that they have only conjured a hungry ghost spirit, if not worse, a revengeful spirit. They have ended their ritual at this stage just because they saw the statue move and the drink spilled. It is a grave mistake made by many masters. Yet many owners of Kumon Tongs love seeing these phenomenons of Kumon Tongs drinking or moving their toys. So many people would think that these phenomenons prove the power and efficacy. And according to Acharn Patanar, your Kumon Tongs could still be a hungry or an angry spirit if the phenomenons of drink spillings or moving objects are still seen frequently. It simply means that their spirits have not yet fully settled down or have not yet gained higher realm enlightenment. It would be dangerous to own it. Instead, these unenlightened spirits have to be fed every day and, and they could do nothing to help their owners. None. And if they are still hungry, they feed off your energy and your children's energies. These hell spirits are playful and totally unconscious. They feed off your energies that will cause more misfortunes and illnesses. Many people who have kept a Kumon Tong of such realm will surely experience accumulated misfortunes and illnesses over time. That is the reason why most of the Kumon Tongs could not help their owners. They need their owners' help instead. These are the unconscious Hell Realm spirits that will harm their owners in long run. A good spirit type amulet or a good Kumon Tong spirit should have attained enlightenment. Their very purpose is to help guide more living beings towards enlightenment and to resolving their owner's current life's karmic issues. According to Master Patarn, only by resolving past karmic issues, one will be able to consciously know when and where to find their fortunes. One will be able to manifest anything in life only when their mind Body and soul are in tune with the higher spirit. The enlightened souls of the Kumon Tongs or Nummun Pry would be able to give powerful spiritual guidance to their owners. Don't be fooled by any masters who told you that Kumon Tongs could grant any wishes simply by asking. There are three conditions that are important to be in tune before any manifestations with your Kumon Tongs can happen. First most important condition is that your Kumon Tong has to be an enlightened spirit and is no longer an unconscious, hungry, or revengeful soul. Second, your mind, body, and spirit have to be all in tune through meditations to be able to receive spiritual guidances. This means that the mind, body, and spirit have to become one powerful energy in order to establish a connection with any higher realm spirit. Third, to accumulate merits for manifestations. According to Master Patarna, merits are like the fuel for a car. Without fuel, your car will not be able to bring you to your destinations. Your own interventions is required for a big change, said Master Patarna. And if you are able to meet the three conditions, any manifestations can happen. Your life will be attuned to great fortunes and good health. So, for the first condition, if your Kumon Tong is still exhibiting playfulness at the altar, it is likely that the consecration ritual is not fully completed. 
An enlightened spirit should be quiet and in meditative state. They should give signs and warnings to their owners only when it is needed. For the second condition, your mind, body, and spirit should be in tune. This is only achievable via meditation according to Master. It is when three entities of yourself becomes one great energy. This energy is the essence for higher realm communications. Every time when one meditates for about 15 minutes, the three entities will melt into one another and become one. When it becomes one energy, you become a receiver of higher realm wisdom and communication. So, the more you meditate with your Kumon Tong, the more receptive you can become. Master often recommends his followers to meditate during the new moon and full moon day each month. These two days are considered to be very powerful as the positions of the sun and moon on these two days are most efficacious for human mind's transcendence. Lastly, the third condition is to accumulate good merits in your karmic path. Everyone reborn are the birth of past life karma. Without karma, one would no longer be born again. So, everyone are born with karmic issues and it is important to address to these past lives that if one wants to attain good fortunes and finally enlightenment. According to Master, merits are the most important element that helps one to alleviate negative impacts of past life's issue. Merit is the only true element that will help one to completely reduce past life's karma and towards enlightenment. Only when one's karma is addressed, better fortunes in one's twelve spiritual dimensions can happen. Merits are any thoughts or actions that brings about joy and happiness to yourself and others. One's fortunes are greatly determined by one's accumulation of merits. Merits can be accumulated by simply giving joy to others or helping any charity causes. Master said that accumulating merits is easy but people are simply too selfish to practice it. Their dominating minds are still calculative and with expectations when they perform an action of merit, and thus accumulating more negative karmic seeds instead said Master. Master said that believe it or not, the more uncalculative and generous a person is towards merit's accumulation, the more negative karmic issues will be nullified and more fortunes will start happening. However, most people are still selfish at their deepest level of their minds. Thus nothing great could happen for the ultimately selfish person. Without merits, the spirits of Kumon Tong or any other spirits could not help to advance any fortunes. This should explain why most Kumon Tongs could not help their owners to attain great wealth. When you adopt and bound with a high realm spirit in your spiritual dimensions, all your thoughts will be completely in sync with the guiding spirit. Their wisdom can affect you and your merits can also affect their spiritual growth. It becomes a non-stop cycle that makes this powerful, and this will lead one to ultra success eventually. Because success in one's dimensions is all determined by one's spiritual growth and merits.